Hello and welcome back to another Unity Tiny video where we'll be creating a system to update our UI with a variable that we have stored within a script. It's very simple, arguably it's simpler than how you would do it in regular Unity 3D or Unity 2D. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our components folder and create a new component that is going to be used to tag the entity that stores our text that we want to be updating. So let's right click and create a new C sharp system. We're going to call it UI score tag. Once it compiles, we can go ahead and click assets open dot C sharp project. So our IDE can recognize the script. Then we can go into our components folder, open the UI score tag, and we're going to change it from saying component system to say I component data. And then we can get rid of this on update inside of here and we don't need anything in here because we're just going to be using this as a tag. So we're done with this and let's go back into our project and into our scripts folder and we're going to create a script that we're going to be using to update the text that's displayed on the UI's entity. So right click and create a new C sharp system. This one we're going to call update UI score system. We can go ahead and create that, wait for your project to compile, and don't forget to go to assets, open.csharp project, so your IDE recognizes the file. Once you click open.csharp system, let's open up the file, which we called update UI score system. And inside of here, the first thing we're going to do is put it in the snake namespace. So we'll say namespace snake, and open and close bracket around the entire file, excluding the usings. This organizes this file into a namespace called snake, so it doesn't interact with any other projects that may be within your Unity project when that project does not require this file. So once we have the update UI score system created and within the namespace, inside of our on update, let's say var tail count is equal to zero. And then we're gonna find all of our snake tails that's within the game by saying entities dot with all and with all requires a component. So let's put the component that we're looking for in, which is the snake tail component, because all of the tails of our snake has the snake tail component. So we can simply figure out what our score is by just counting the tails. So we can say entities with all snake tail dot for each. Then we need to find the entity by saying entity entity. And then let's make our lambada expression an open and close bracket and put a semicolon at the end of your line. Then within our brackets, we're just going to say tail count plus plus with a semicolon. This will make your tail count variable always equal to the amount of snake tails you have within your game. And since it's a snake project we're doing this on, that's the only thing that should be updating our score. Now that we have the tail count variable equal to the score that we should have, let's go back into our project and set up the UI that we're going to be updating with this score. So go back into Unity 3D, then let's create a canvas, and then underneath this canvas, let's create an empty entity. I'm not sure if there's an easier way to make canvas specific objects besides manually doing it, but at the moment, the only way I know how is to manually add the components. So we need our translation, rotation, non-uniform scale. We need a text 2D style bitmap font. And this will store the font that we'll be using. We'll just use Liberation Sans SDF. Then we need to add a renderer to display the text, which in Unity Tiny, it's called a text 2D renderer. Now we need a text 2D style. Now we need the rec transform. Now let's add a layer sorting component. After adding the layer sorting component, let's add the component that's actually going to display the text, which is called a text string. And then the last component we'll need is the UI score tag that we created earlier. And if your UI score tag isn't showing up, it's probably because earlier this said public class UI score tag. And if it's a class, it won't be recognized as a component. So you need to change it to struct. Then we can go ahead and type something in here to make sure it's displaying in our game. And you can see that it is. 
So let's go back into our code, into our update UI score system, and let's add the code that's going to update the text for our UI score system. So the first thing we'll need to do is find the UI score tag. We'll do that by saying entities dot with all UI score tag dot for each, and we need to reference the entity. So we'll say entity, entity, then let's make our lambada expression an open and closed bracket with a semicolon on the end. And inside of here, we need to find the text string component and update it. The way we're going to do that is by saying entity manager dot set buffer from string. And if it's not showing up in here, it's because you need to add the using. So go to the top and add using unity dot tiny dot text. And we'll also need to add using unity.tiny.core. Now that we've added both of these usings, we can go back to our entity manager and say entity manager dot set buffer from string. And we'll put our text string component in here. Then we need to reference the entity the text string component is on, which we called entity. And let's type in what we wanted to say, which it'll say score colon with a space and then we need to put in the score by saying plus tail count dot to string and a semicolon on the end. Let's go ahead and save this, go back into our Unity project, click play and see if this is all working. For some reason I'm not able to see the text that we added so let's close out of the game, go to our UI canvas and see if we can find out why. One thing it could be is because our rec transform is referencing to be always in the same position from the bottom. Let's change this to the top center. Actually, that's not the problem. I see now that we don't have our camera set yet, so drag your camera into the camera reference slot. Now let's click play and see if it displays within our game. You can see it says score 0. When we eat a piece of food, it says score 1. Eat another piece, score 2. And bet you can guess score 3 is next, and score 4 is after that. And if we die, it should reset back to 0, which it did. Excellent, everything seems to be working. This was a pretty easy video, but that's thanks to Unity Tiny making it so easy for us. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, or you have any suggestions, leave a comment below letting me know. Also consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.